Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. I'm going to welcome you back to a special here. We're excited about having a very special guest from Med Express of Red Bay today. And of course, she's the brand new nurse practitioner there. Y'all may know her when you see her. Kayla Humphreys is our special guest today. Kayla, how you doing? I'm good. Are you, Jack? I am doing good. Good to see you. And uh, Thank a few you. folks that are watching, uh, of course, uh, Kayla is brand new down at Med Express. And I know the folks down there are excited. And what we uh, plan on doing today is not only introduce you to our brand new nurse practitioner down at Med Express, but also introduce you a little bit or reintroduce you to Med Express. They got a brand new name, still the same friendly folks there, but we want to tell you a little bit about what Med Express offers here in your hometown community. And I'm going to start it off today by letting Miss Kayla uh, tell a little bit about yourself and then we'll talk a little bit more about Med Express. Okay. Well, as Jack always already said, I'm Kayla Humphreys. Um, I just graduated with my family nurse practitioner degree. Um, but I was um, raised in Golden, Mississippi, if you know where that is. I know. Um, just over the state line. Um, my parents are um, Ronald and Tanya Scott. Um, I married a Red Bay boy, Dallas Humphreys. He is David and Barbara Humphreys' son. Um, we have two beautiful little girls. Macy Kate is five, and Layton is five months today, actually. Um, we live down Highway 19 in Brookwood Subdivision. You know, this is home for right. us. Been here all of our lives. And of course, we're excited about uh, you joining the staff down at Med Express. And uh, a few folks that don't know about Med Express, it's in the former uh, Dr. Norman location is the best way to tell you. And uh, you uh, actually graduated, we better back up a little bit. You graduated from Tremont High School, went there your entire life. I did. And I graduated from Tremont um, High School in 2005. Uh, so, so take I'm us take us from Tremont all the way up to where you're at educationally right okay. now. Okay, um, I graduated from Tremont in 05. I got um, right in, right out of high school into the RN program at ICC. I graduated in 2007 with my Associates of Nursing in ICC and then I opportunity kind of presented itself. I went back and got my bachelor's from UNA and then I graduated last December with my um, family nurse practitioner degree from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. That is awesome and I know the family is proud of you and uh, yes. uh, what about uh, your side of the family? Uh, I know you you moved into the and changed your name but uh, your family I know uh, a little background there. Uh, one of your relatives maybe used to be a nurse around local? Uh, my granny, well I call her my granny, she's really my great-grandmother. She um, was an LPN at the Red Bay Hospital, LV Grissom, for years and years and um, I can remember her talking about all the funny things they were doing at the hospital and the patient care and you know she really just had a servant's heart. She loved what she did. She loved taking care of patients. She loved the Red Bay Hospital. She loved the staff there and it really did inspire me to go into nursing. Sounds good. I tell you what I want you to do, start out today. What is MedExpress? Just so the folks will know a little bit about MedExpress. Well, it's kind of like the running joke at the office. Our name has changed but we're all still the same. Um, I'm there as the new nurse practitioner at the clinic. Dr. Leota, of course, is there. Um, Melinda Moore is still there. Janice Collum. Melinda and Jan, they worked for Dr. Norman for years. I'm not allowed to say how long they worked for Dr. Norman, but they worked for Dr. Norman for years before he retired. And now we have Susan Puckett and um, Tara Cantrell working with us at MedExpress. And I know they're glad to have you on staff. And, of course, you mentioned Dr. Leota is there. And, of course, we've had him here on the... Uh, on the forum here talking about his background, of course, and uh, not only does he a uh, uh, family physician as well, he specializes in sports medicine, you know, with all the athletes around, with the injuries and all that stuff, that's just a little added. And uh, your specialty, you kind of special uh, specialize dealing with the kids a lot in pediatrics. Tell us a little bit about that. I love kids. Um, when I was going through school, I wasn't real sure that I wanted to do pediatrics, but now that I've gotten out, um, in this area, there is a need um, for a person that, you know, takes care of pediatric patients. Um, I, like many of the parents in the area, our pediatrician is in Florence and some people have pediatricians in Chipola. Well, that's an hour drive from here. You know, when you have a kid that just has a runny nose or, you know, a little cold, to drive an hour and wait in the doctor's office there, I mean, that's half of a day when you could bring them in town. Um, my little girls, they were seeing Dr. Norman um, when he was still here because, you know, it's close, it's convenient. 
And you know, I love I love seeing pediatric patients. I also love women's health, and that's another thing in this area that is underserved. Um, it's kind of again the specialties. You either have to travel an hour one way, or you travel an hour another way. And to have that service in town, um, it, it really is great. We're talking, of course, with Kayla Humphreys uh, with Med Express, and we're letting you know a little bit more about her and what's going on at Med Express, and of course. Uh, what we want you to know before we leave here today is uh, where the office is located, the hours they're there, the services they offer, and, and one question is, um, do you take Medicaid, Alabama, Mississippi? Well, tell us what you do as far as the insurance line as well. Um, Melinda Moore, she does all of our billing. She deals with the insurance companies. We take Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi. We see Medicare, Medicaid of Alabama and Mississippi, and most major insurances. They're calling, uh, of course, Med Express a rural health clinic. And uh, for the folks out there that don't know what the rural health clinic meaning is, tell us a little bit about that. A rural health care clinic is designed to service the underserved population. Medicare, Medicaid patients in a rural area, such as Red Bay, such as Belmont, such as Iuka, um, for those patients who may not have the capabilities or the resources to travel a great distance for health care, we are able to serve them better with a rural cl health care clinic. Um, with a rural health care clinic, there is um, a nurse practitioner there 50% of the time, and we are blessed in Red Bay to have Dr. Leoto with us. So it's, it's really for our patients, more convenient for our patients, and better for us to be able to serve them. Of course, uh, the benefits of course, Med Express, uh, if, you, if you didn't know, they are a division of the Red Bay Hospital and of course Helen Keller and also you're affiliated with the Huntsville Hospital but what I was referring to I guess being a division of the Red Bay Hospital and y'all being there really, really close by if somebody comes in they're needing some kind of test run if you can't do it all there my goodness the convenience of the Red Bay Hospital close by is big time isn't it? The benefits are immense to be a, you know owned by Red Bay Hospital and to be affiliated um, with Helen Keller Hospital and with Huntsville Hospital, it's going to be great for our patients. You know, in the office setting, there's only so much that we can do in the office. For the other specialty tests, Dr. Leota, he admits to Red Bay Hospital. Um, Red Bay Hospital has an excellent swing bed program for people that patients that have had surgery or are not able to stay by themselves. They're just not quite there physically to stay by themselves, excellent swing bed program, excellent PT, OT, and ST therapies that are even outpatient therapies. You don't have to be an inpatient there to receive those therapies, as well as lab work, um, specialty x-rays, procedures. And then now that we're affiliated with Huntsville Hospital, our patients have access to so many different specialties um, and it's just really, it's more convenient and better choices for our patients. I tell you what, uh, I've interviewed, of course, uh, Mr. Jones here and, of course, Dr. Leota and stuff. And uh, uh, I tell you what, Dr. Jones and his staff at the Red Bay Hospital, they have put together one great team. And, of course, they're affiliated, of course, with Helen Keller. And I've dealt with them on a day-to-day a -day basis a pretty good bit from different things. And I can't say enough good things about uh, the Red Bay Hospital. My mom was in the hospital there, and, of course, she took advantage of the swing bed program and uh, the therapy. And... Uh, when she actually checked in uh, one time in the emergency room, we thought we were losing her. You know, she was, you know, she was 89, and the next thing you know, uh, uh, they had her walking from one end of the hospital to the other, and she couldn't even get out of the bed and stuff. So they was really, really awesome. So having them right next door to work together with is is really awesome for the folks in the community. And of course, uh, also the uh, emergency room for late night hours, they're uh, certified around the clock, board certified physicians, 24 hours a day. So. Uh, it's yes. a great thing for this whole community, isn't it? It is. And, you know, as in your situation where your mom was older, you work full time. I'm sure your siblings work. You know, it's to have that extra help to take care of, you know, the ailing patient, it helps out. What about, uh, let's kind of go back and review just a little bit. Uh, and if you just happen to join us, we're talking with Kayla Humphrey. She is, of course, the brand new nurse practitioner. She's working with Dr. Leota and all the great staff down at Med Express. Uh, you may have heard it called uh, uh, another name from Keller there, but uh, they've uh, decided on the name Med Express. And like she said, nothing else has changed. The entire staff is there. 
So let's go back through the hours and the location. We want to make sure everybody knows exactly what to do when they need to see you at MedExpress. Sure. Um, we are located, MedExpress is located, um, I say in the Dr. Norman's old office building, directly um, adjacent to the Red Bay Hospital. Our office hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 to 4.30. Um, and then our phone number is 256-356-8907. And of course, uh, naturally they would love for you to get an appointment, but walk-ins are welcome because you mentioned that uh, sometimes you don't get too much of a warning on no, getting sick, you don't right? Plan, I don't think anybody ever really plans on being sick. So we do appreciate the appointments, but walk-ins are very welcome. Of course, a lot of people think, well, uh, let's, let's wait a little while. I'm going to get better, and, uh, and the next thing you know, they're, they're deciding, well, we better be heading right. down to Med Express. What have we left off that we need to uh, talk about? Do we need to update anybody on the folks? Uh, I'm excited about, uh, of course, Med Express being in the Red Bay area, and you folks that are watching uh, not only on TV 12, but also TV 97, Med Express. Uh, if you're in Iuka, it's 29 minutes away. And of course, Belmont, you're only like five or six minutes mm -hmm. away, Golden. You're closer than that. So we're right here in your hometown area. And of course, uh, we're friends and family close to home. That's what Dr. Uh, I call him Dr. Jones, but uh, Mr. Glenn Jones, uh, mm -hmm. he said, we're, we're just like family together, uh, taking care of each other. So I know uh, you'd like to invite everybody to come see you. And uh, uh, you got any openings uh, if I get sick here in the next couple of days? Sure, sure. Or if you have an orthopedic injury, you know, Dr. Leota will be glad to take care of you there. He, um, he specializes in sports medicine and in this area, you know, that's another underserved area no of health care. Of mm -hmm. course, a lot of all the football, and basketball, baseball players and you know, uh, of course, this past weekend you had the little cheerleaders in their competition. You know, there's always some kind of little injuries with either uh, football or basketball cheerleader and whatever. So if you need a, a good sports doctor, Dr. Leota's there. If you need somebody to take care of the kids from the pediatric side, you women from the women's side, of course, Miss Kayla can do that. And of course, y'all take care of colds and uh, colds. Do you do flu we, shots? We do flu shots. Yes. Right now is a great time to come and get your flu shots before um, it really sets in. So far, we haven't seen anybody come in with the flu yet, but we um, we are prepared and we are expecting. Um, you know, from pediatrics all the way up to geriatrics, it's very important. Sounds good. And I do appreciate you coming on. And if we need to update you on what's happening down at Med Express, if there's any updates we need to pass along, I'm sure uh, Ms. Kayla will be glad to come in. Dr. Leota will be able to come in and uh, we'll update you on what's happening down at Med Express. So if you haven't got anything else we need to pass along, uh, we'll uh, get out of here and we invite everybody once again to call Med Express if you need to set up an appointment. That number, 256-356-8907. And just to recap, Alabama, Mississippi, Medicaid, they do take uh, all major insurances, including Blue Cross, Blue Shield of Alabama, and Blue Cross, Blue Shield of Mississippi. Yes. Kayla, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having me. Do me a favor, tell the family hello and sure. uh, take care of the little ones. and. Uh, and uh, tell Dallas uh, to keep watching them old football games, right? <laughs> yes. They like to watch them and stuff. Dallas, of course, uh, her husband, and of course, and I go way back on doing some uh, high school football games here in the area. And of course, you know, that's always uh, big in this area. And remember, you athletes out there that's been playing in some of these uh, old timer games, uh, <laughs> y'all probably need to see Dr. Leota. So they've been doing a lot of alumni games. Uh, some of the guys, uh, you know, it's been playing. Uh, did Dallas play in the alumni? No, we went and watched it, and it was. They did a great job. Great job. I figured Both Dallas teams. might have wanted to get in there and stuff. He did. He did. He kind of regretted not playing, I think, a little bit. Yeah. Sounds good. Appreciate you, okay? Thank you. Appreciate Denise on the controls. And if you're out there joining us, thank you so much for joining us here. We're our interview today from Kayla Humphreys and Jack Ivey here from Med Express. And that is going to wrap it up. We'll see you next time right here on your hometown station. Y'all have a great day.